guys welcome back to another video and as you can probably tell from the title and maybe a thumbnail I'm ending my calisthenics YouTube journey I'm not ending on YouTube I will try something different for the vegan family it's not because of the uh, because of vegan I don't care about some vegan this is for you guys that have attention span of like five ten seconds well in that case you probably didn't watch the video to this point so yeah if you won't come back and you will unsubscribe it's okay it's fine it's your choice i i wish you a good luck on your guys things journey thank you that you've been with me see ya guys okay and now my arm is again dying i will try to do this video on one take it will be probably impossible but we are again at the same road, different day and even worse weather. Why I will switch to different niche? I talked about it, I think, already. Well, at least, at least once. That's for sure, at least once. And it is pretty simple. It's all about money. <coughs> eh, Zdenek, you did it only because of the money. Of course, I did it from some, some part because of the money, because without money I wouldn't be doing YouTube for a long time and I and I would have been delivering pizza again. So everybody, every YouTuber does YouTube, do YouTube <laughs> because of the money. That's understandable. Nobody would do it just for fun or like for nothing, basically. Why I won't stay doing calisthenics on YouTube? Well, that's because of uh, the niche Sorry guys, <laughs> man, I'm so shitty YouTuber. <laughs> That's because of the niche, which if I would, if I should over exaggerate it, basically I already, I, I already reached a maximum I can potentially get, in my opinion. Like maybe I could get another 2,000, 3,000 subscribers. Well, subscribers are, they are pointless these days, but you understand. That's the main reason why I won't stay doing calisthenics on YouTube. Because if you, for example, check out Calisthenics Pro, you know, everybody knows him. If you will check out uh, Racing Heart, Steady Mind, those guys that everybody knows them. Those guys have like, th uh, they even have less views than I have. Which, which, is, <laughs> which is a little bit like weird or funny. Or for example, Christoph. Christoph top athlete, and he has same views like I have. Like, what the hell is that? This, this just proves that calisthenics. Nobody cares about calisthenics. I'm not saying I will stop training. In matter of fact, I started again my road to front level. Maybe, maybe from time to time I will upload, upload update on that. If I will ever learn it, <laughs> that's the question. <laughs> to have views with calisthenics, you gotta do you know, how to get six-pack abs, for example. How to lose weight. You, you would say that. Zdenek, do this type of content. The problem is it's, it's late, it's already late. The competition in, in that niche, that, that has so big competition. You know, Chris Harrier's video, one of his videos on how to get six-pack abs, uh, has already 100 million views so I won't I won't be able to get my video into uh, into search YouTube search uh, yeah so the plan of doing how to lose weight and how to or how to gain muscles basically all these types of how to videos there's no chance already. If I would have done these videos back in 2015, 2016, then maybe. And it's it's a little bit more complicated. The YouTube game, you know, the algorithms. If you, if you will find some original ideas like I did, you know, those guys things documentaries, then you can succeed, succeed too. <laughs> but in my opinion, by those guys things documentaries and that uh, back to basic stuff i basically like used all the original potential you know what i wanted to say <laughs> problem number two is that it is connected to what i just said i don't have time and i don't 
think it's possible anymore to create original content. That's why I blew up to those numbers I have now. I had. <laughs> there is, I think, the biggest problem because if if there would be a lot more things to talk about, then I would just keep going and going. Yeah, there would be something to talk about. I don't want to do how to muscle up. Basically, it's just telling the same thing again and again. If you don't have video ideas for three videos every week, do just one. Okay, I thought about it for sure. The problem is that I need certain amount of money. This is the biggest problem, money. No money, no life. You will end up homeless. Well, in my case, I won't end up homeless, but I want to move somewhere. If I will just upload one video a week, I have literally zero chance of paying my rent. I will need to have more views, either more videos with le less views or one video a month with a million views. That's the problem. Why I have to upload three times a week, which I found out that would be the solution with my problem. So I have I, I am not at least in those red numbers. It's all about money. It's all about money, as I said. No money, no Zdenek. No videos about calisthenics or anything else. So my plan was to, to, to get some people, get some core audience, audience, and then move to something like lifestyle, maybe cooking, something like that, because you, you can't make calisthenics videos to and, and to end of your life. So yeah, I, I wanted in the future to change up my content. As, as I said, you can't make videos how to muscle up, how to muscle up, how to one up, up. best five exercises to uh, learn muscle up, all doing the same videos, almost the same videos again and again. One guy from Czech Republic also started with calisthenics, how to handstand, and then because because he lived in and still lives in the USA, he started shooting videos for Czech people about how Cali uh, LA, Los Angeles looks like in reality. You know all those homeless guys and all that. So he had to switch up the content because he had the same mindset that he didn't want to shoot the same videos again and again. It, it's risky. I know that a lot of you guys won't watch those videos, but I think it's better to decide to uh, to switch up the content than just keep slowly dying and dying. Be because I'm I'm out of ideas. You 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 would say do reactions to that competition. Okay, I will I will make a reaction to a competition that nobody cares about. So that means no views. Try, try for 10 seconds to to come up with some video idea about calisthenics. That could have more than 5,000, 10,000 10, views. I will give you those 10 seconds. I will try it too. No, I have zero ideas. Uh, you are maybe asking, what I want uh, to to make. I want to make something about, for example, English language, uh, differences between uh, Czech Republic, my country, and USA. I have in mind like 10 video ideas already. English language, thousands of videos you can make about it. Different videos. Maybe not original, but at least different. The best part about this is that this content can watch everybody. Your dad, your grandma, sister. Uh, I wanted to make this video to like end this chapter. I, I, I kind of blew up, not, not gonna lie. I, I'm grateful for that. Sadly, it's not enough and I'm freezing. <laughs> I a little bit under, underestimated this, this, this weather. I will check out my phone because I wanted to make my reaction to Jack Vegan's video. As I said, I haven't seen it still, but I have 30% uh, of battery, so... <laughs>
Okay, I'm back. This is this is for those who watch this video to this point. Anyways, 30% of battery. Let's try how far we will get. Get. Man, grammar, English grammar. Everything is running. At least we will end this end this chapter completely. Fuck. Okay, wait. Kurva. This is me, four years ago, stuck with my calisthenics skills. If someone had given me the advice, just get bigger muscles, stop the statics and go back to the pull-ups after I had just focused on my basics and weighted basics, I would have been stuck there forever. Okay, this is what happens when you don't listen to me and you are sleeping like geek climber while watching those tutorial videos. The problem with this part, with the beginning, he said there that if someone would tell him to go back to basics, after he done basics and waited, where I did say that? Where? <laughs> My advice, go back to basics if you are stuck with skills, was for those guys like me, who were not patient, and did basics for three months and jumped straight into skills. And they they were stuck suddenly. They progressed to one leg, advanced stuck front level, for example. Now they are stuck. That's why I came here to YouTube to remind master basics first. Without basics, you will end up getting stuck in your plan journey, front level journey, if you are not the if you are not the chosen one who will get away with anything. So yeah, I don't want to watch the video <laughs> because this seems like vegan but we are sleeping also. Either watch my videos to the end or don't comment anything if you watch if you watch five seconds of my videos and then comment something like I think I know what's the problem because vegan will think that I said that you don't need to do specific training, you just need to spam basics, spam weighted pull-ups, weighted dips, push-ups, and that will get you automatically, automatically, full planche front lever. I think that's the problem. There is a chance that you will get automatically full front lever, like, like this guy, or for example, that one from Brazil, I think. If you are really strong, you will get, for example, automatically two seconds of full front lever, but to uh, maximize your full potential in that skill you gotta train it specifically that's 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 obvious ah, I'm freezing let's continue fast forward four years and with the right approach that I'm gonna teach you in this video you also will be able to increase the likelihood that you progress to this level in calisthenics and get those skills you've been dreaming about but first let me explain how this first approach that some of you are probably why he put why he put the black bar over my eyes <laughs> I know I'm not Justin Bieber, but I don't think I look that bad. <laughs> that some of you are probably following can lead you permanently stuck with calisthenics and ultimately quitting. This first not so great. It, it is it is funny that me, I'm basically nobody, managed to get to vegans video. I think I remember like seeing him when I had like 500 subscribers or something. It would be better if I would be there uh, in a different style, like it, it wouldn't be a hate video. Uh, anyways, let's continue because I'm freezing. <laughs> Zdenek Letal is a calisthenics content creator that has been created. <laughs> Zdenek, <laughs> I know that my name is a little bit tricky to say, but, uh, <laughs> but, but vegan said it, I think, the best. Because there was one guy that said my last name like Lethal, like I'm I'm late. <laughs> calisthenics content for the last two years. Man, what is this? What is this picture? For his calisthenics documentaries on calisthenics legend. I really like these videos and they're really well edited. But his calisthenics tip and tutorial videos have an extremely dark side. A bad approach to training that some of you guys are following that can leave you stuck. Here's why. He explains his approach to training the Zenic method in this video. My calisthenics transformation to legendary level begins, where he attempts to explain how he plans on learning the front lever. So, first goal, big muscular upper body, or at least something bigger than... <laughs> My dream physique that I am aiming for is the one that Daniels has, 
And he will say something about this. Surface, this Zenit method doesn't sound too bad, right? Some of you guys will also have this same approach. But let me explain why the way he's doing this has some serious problems. And if you follow this as well, you will encounter these issues. Now, before I get ahead of myself, let me say this. If you're new to calisthenics, you should start with basics to gain muscle and strength. Don't forget that second part. It's not only hypertrophy, hypertrophy, hypertrophy. Well, in my case, I did just strength training pretty much. And I said that you need both. That would vegan know if he would watch my videos. There is only one equation you really need to stick to it. And that's this one. Maybe I shouldn't put there Ian because <laughs> uh, steroids. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. It was it was joke. I will I will rather say it now because uh, in my other video I said it also and it was meant like a joke. And everybody in the comments, oh you you also think that. Uh, Ian is, is on steroids, no, and I don't care, it is, it is his life. Now we know Zanek isn't a beginner because in this video he says he can do 32 push-ups and 16 pull-ups and by the end of his training in this video, over a month, he can do about 40 push-ups and I think about 20 pull-ups. This means he's not a complete beginner. I was, because firstly these numbers are kinda rookie ones, plus like I explained in my other video, you shouldn't mark someone as a beginner by endurance since back in the days I could do 8 HSPU but my max reps push UPS would be probably the same. And if his goal is skills such as the front lever, he should be moving on to harder elements such as weighted basics. But really guys, this Zenic method doesn't sound too bad, right? There's worse things you could be doing than focusing on building muscle. Okay, I, I was just starting out after my break. After my two, two months break, I explained in the video that I wanted to strengthen my arms by this challenge because my pull up form, if you would watch the video, wasn't uh, perfect in terms of building back muscles. You have to arch your back and touch the bar with your chest to uh, fully squeeze your back muscles. And because I wanted to progress, was the first thing that will give up arms so that's why i didn't care about the form in that challenge because i needed to spam those pull-ups to get stronger arms so then i can go back and do uh, the correct form pull-ups i don't know what i did after afterwards yeah, I know, I quit calisthenics. <laughs> well, let me go over the four problems you will encounter if you only focus on hypertrophy and your end goal is static strength skills. But first, there's something I need to bring up. And come on, come on, I'm freezing. Zenek might not be credible in giving advice on these skills because he's been stuck with the front lever and planche for six years. I didn't really train planche, so... <laughs> bad research. Basically, I haven't trained planche. It would be like 5% plan, 1% planche and 99% front lever training. So I can planche because I didn't train it. <laughs> I can front lever because I didn't have muscles and so strength. I started basically right at the beginning of my calisthenics journey. So no basic strength, nothing. So that's why I progressed so slow. Man, problem As one. I mentioned, Zenit's approach is to first build a top 1% physique before seriously touching statics or skills at all. Now, nothing wrong with having a goal physique in mind. I had a goal physique when I started, but how long do you think it will take to get close to that goal physique? It won't just take a couple weeks or months, let's just say that. Months. <laughs> it will take years. <laughs> but, but, you know, I thought that I don't have to explain every sentence in my videos, but I think I should have done it <laughs> but basically being like license will mean that i will probably be able to one hand front lever touch front lever and all that but to be able to hold front lever for five seconds you don't have to have license physique that's that's obvious but the more you want to achieve the better physique you have you have to have sorry okay microphone still still going hi let's continue not to mention, because he's just working on hypertrophy, he's not focused on strength, he will just have the muscle, but it won't necessarily be strong. Hopefully now you guys can start seeing the first few issues with the Zenic method. Not to mention, if he waits to get to this goal physique, then starts training for planche, he'll have to work on his straight arm conditioning. And increasing the strength and integrity of your tendons takes much longer than building muscular strength. So who knows how long it would even be before he would be conditioned for the skills he wants to train. Uh, well, it will be definitely faster than 
it, it basically th these are these are Barsegal's words. So Barsegal fans, <laughs> now you are happy. If you will, if you will focus on basics and then weighted ba weighted basics, weighted calisthenics, you will have strength, muscles, all this. The conditioning, pff, super easy. You will basically get any skill quick, any skill. That, that's that's what he said. If you have those muscles, you will you will condition those tendons and all this kind of stuff. It will be quicker than doing everything right from the beginning. You know, if you will just start calisthenics and right from the beginning you will do 50-50, 50 statics, 50 basics. And also, even if you train for hypertrophy, you, you will still get some strength. It's not it's not 100% and 0%. Let's continue. We've all seen skinnier looking people performing crazy strength movements such as Planche and Maltese, while bodybuilders who have large amounts of muscle can't easily do these skills. Why? Because, well, bodybuilders don't train for it, but <laughs> that's because those small guys, man, I don't want to say it again, but I have to. Ooh, okay. Battery changed. I think I won't make it through a second problem, but you know, skinny guys are basically muscular because they are small and they won't have muscles as big as Lysans or La well, Larosa is small also. <laughs> well, he's a little bit enhanced. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. Sorry. So, I hope you understand this. A big muscle is not necessarily strong. A bigger muscle means a greater capacity for strength, but doesn't necessarily mean it is strong. You still need to train the strength. But I said that. Question ...that you'll come across in Stephen Lowe's book, Overcoming Gravity. And of course, these skinny looking guys performing planche are strong, but they're not as strong as strong men lifting hundreds of kgs of weight because there's a difference between absolute strength and relative strength. When calisthenics, we're focused on strength relative to your own body weight. Most of you guys know this, but in Zenit's approach, it for some reason ignores it. But, but Zenic, all I see are skinny guys doing full Maltese basically without any muscles. So how is that possible? <laughs> got <it! laughs> you just got again fooled by the internet. <laughs> I bet you didn't search more information about those guys. Because if you would, you would find out that these guys are literally 5 foot 6. For my European friends, 167 centimeters. <laughs> so of course they will... Okay, 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 okay. He claims they aren't strong relative to their body weight. They are just short. Where I said, where I said that they are not strong. Of course they are strong. The point was that why this skinny guy can do planche when I claim that you have to have big muscles. The answer is that he can do it because he have big muscles or somehow big. Stop focusing. Sorry guys, this is a little bit free stuff. And I, I, I again lost. Just what I wanted to say. If that guy would be two meters tall, he wouldn't be able to do it because he would need to have a lot bigger muscles than he had in that in that uh, video. He totally didn't get what I what I said. If you will check out any taller athlete, he will have insanely huge muscles. So for all you six foot two guys like me, you won't planche without having biceps as big as planet. You won't, trust me. Now Zenit's explanation for why these skinnier looking guys or hobbits as he calls them in his videos are able to perform. Yeah, because that's what, that was a joke. <laughs> he believes it's because they're all small. So the muscle that they have just looks like it's not a lot, but for their height, it is a lot. There is a tiny ounce of truth in that statement, but it shows. Yeah, but it is. <laughs> but it shows an extremely poor understanding on how to build strength. Here is Mr. Wong. And again, his friend. <laughs> that is incredibly lean, but is not the biggest athlete in terms of overall muscle mass, but can still perform insane strength movements like the planche and Maltese, and is not a hobbit as Zenek would call it. He is more in the hobbit group with 175 cm 62 kilograms, plus the amount of muscle strength you need for skills. Depends on how big legs you have and basically proportions. Cut of your legs and you can planche without ever training. If you have small legs, and because short short guys typically have bad leverages, you don't need big muscles. Watch my video to the end. Sadly, if you are born with naturally fattier, longer, or I don't know what else legs, then your limit, what you can achieve in calisthenics, is already lower. What he just said isn't true. As someone who has big legs, all that big legs means is that you'll need more strength. Well, 
from what I've saw, you can't really uh, full planche for too long. So, well, what, what I can say, I can do anything. But that is true. If you have big legs, your limit is already lowered. Guess what? You can't keep building strength and strength to infinite. You can't. If bigger muscles means bigger strength potential. That's true. You can naturally build only somehow big muscles. So if you will reach it and you have big legs, you, you won't be able to do skills like someone who will reach it also, but he has smaller legs, thinner legs, you know. The key problem of this, of this point that Jack Vegan said, that you will just need to get stronger. You, you can't keep getting stronger. Where you wanna, uh, where you wanna store the strength? I'm, I'm kind of sad that people, people are, basically 99% of people are on his side because he's just talking shit, shits, <laughs> literally. I'm six minutes in, six minutes in. <sighs> I don't wanna. Okay, let's make a deal. I will get back here a little bit more prepared for this winter. And we will watch the video, the second part, because it has 20 minutes, 20 minutes. You see, even Jack Vegan doesn't have any video ideas, better video ideas than talking about me and <laughs> basically from what I've just uh, saw, it is trash. <laughs> Sorry. I don't want to die here watching Jack Vegan's video. If you want to come back, you guys, you guys thanks guys, you guys thanks friends. I was happy that you were with me on this guys thanks journey. But feel free to come back because, as I said, I will do type of content that everybody can watch, pretty much. So yeah, Merry Christmas, guys, and see you soon.